Welcome to Math TV with Professor V. You guys, this is a spicy little integral. It took me a minute to figure out how to do it. We have a definite integral from zero to natural log of 10 of e to the x times the square root of e to the x minus one over e to the x plus eight dx. I mean, pause the video if you wanna give it a try on your own first, and then we can start talking. Okay, here we go. You probably guessed it, we're gonna need to do u sub, but gotta let u be square root of e to the x minus one. I know. Let u equal rad e to the x minus one. I tried just letting it be e to the x at first. That did not work out well. Okay, I'm admitting my mistakes. It happens, guys. It happens. Um, to find du, I don't want to do the nasty chain rule, so let's just square both sides first. So u squared equals e to the x minus one. Then now let's differentiate both sides. So we have 2u du equals e to the x dx. And then now let's also make sure we change our limits of integration. Yes, yes. Okay, so those limits belong to x. I'm going to come over here, plug them in for x, and see what the new limits are in terms of u. So u of 0 is going to be square root of e to the 0 minus 1. e to the 0 is 1, so this is rad 1 minus 1, just 0. And then u of ln of 10, the upper limit, this is square root of e to the natural log of 10 minus 1. That's going to be rad 10 minus 1, yes, which is rad 9, so 3. Okay, so our new limits go from 0 to 3. 0 to 3. Um, e to the x dx is my 2u du. Do you see that? Okay, so put the 2 there, u du times. I'm gonna keep color coding. Rad e to the x minus one, that's just u. So I've got another u here. Oops, I wanted to color code so that we're not, so no one's lost, okay? And then the green, this is my two u du. Great, great, almost there. And then in the denominator, we have e to the x plus eight. We'll come back over here e to the x is equal to u squared plus 1, is it not? Yes, yes. So just e to the x is u squared plus 1, and then you have plus 8. Good? Okay, take a second, stare at it, make sure you feel somewhat under control. Okay, let's clean up further now and see how we're going to tackle this. So we have 2 integral 0 to 3 u squared du over u squared plus 9. Okay, good. Now I'm looking, degree of the numerator is 2, degree of the denominator is 2. So typically the rule is, it, unless the degree of the denominator is higher, we need to long divide. A little shortcut if you're not in the mood to long divide, which I, I don't know about you, I'm never in the mood to do polynomial long division. You can just plus or minus sneaky little constant to make things work out for you. So in this case, that's going to be a 9. So in the numerator, I'm going to put u squared plus 9 minus 9, right? I haven't done anything illegal. No, I just added 0 in disguise. And then I can split this up into 2, integral 0 to 3 u squared plus 9 over u squared plus 9 minus 9 over u squared plus 9. Okay. Now, sometimes you can't avoid the long division, but when it can be avoided, I certainly do. And then we have 2 integral 0 to 3. This is just going to give us 1 minus 9 over u squared plus 9 du. And then from here, you should be home free. So just recall, integral of one over one plus, or you know what, let me do the general rule, not with the one. a squared plus x squared dx, that's one over a, tan inverse x over a plus c, right? Don't do a trig sub for that. You'll waste minutes of your life that you'll never get back. They'll be forever gone, okay. So here we have two. I'm ready to integrate, are you? Yeah, 
Yeah, let's do it, Professor V. Okay, antiderivative of 1 is just going to be u minus, now this 9 is just going to come along for the ride. And then here, pay attention, this not, oops, this 9 is my a squared. So a is 3. So this antiderivative is going to be 1 third tan inverse u over 3. Good? Great. And we evaluate all of this from 0 to 3. Leave the 2 outside till the very end. So this is 2 times, let's plug in that upper limit, 3 minus, no, this is just a 3, times tan inverse of 3 over 3, which is 1. That's the upper limit, minus 0 minus 3, tan inverse of 0 divided by 3. Okay, good. Tan inverse of 1, that's pi over 4. Tan inverse of 0 is 0. So this whole evaluation at the lower limit is 0. And then now I have 2 times 3 minus 3 pi over 4. Distribute the 2, and this is 6 minus 6 pi over 4 which is 6 minus 3 pi over 2. Did you like this integral? I loved it. I loved it because I didn't know how to do it right away, and that was exciting for me. So anyways, tell me what your favorite part was. I'm sure there's another approach to it. Maybe you could have done let u equal e to the x first, and then you would have had to do something else after, like another substitution with t or something. But this was the cleanest way that I could come up with. Anyways, I hope everyone's doing well. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. I love reading your comments. I'm off to yoga, and then I'm giving an exam today in Calc 3. Thought you'd all like to know. And then I'm going to ballet tonight on my way home from work. So the very exciting day. What is everyone else up to? I will be recording more integrals and probably more content on sequences and series in the near future since that's what my classes are working on. Anyways, don't forget to like, subscribe. You can check out the rest of my playlists on my YouTube channel or follow me on Instagram and TikTok, Math TV with Professor V. Talk to you soon, you guys. Bye.